everybody, and welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Now we did say at the end of last episode, after we completed the what we thought was Hunt's Edge finished, with all the everybody killing each other, and I of course, being Nick, completely forgot about the people in the main building. I just happened to be walking by and noticed him walking about. Which means I haven't killed the monster upstairs either, which hasn't completed Medora's story. So I want to finish Medora's story before we move on. Because I did say last episode, I think, that once Medora's story is complete, we will dump her and get Jahan in the team. And start on his story. And Woolgrafts, because they're all in roughly the same area. Alright, so without further ado then, let's just go and confront wherever he's called. What is he called? Resk. Come on, Resk. Come on out to play. There we go. Uh, well, let's set fire to you straight away, shall we? There we go. Kaboom. Thank you. Let's get Medora there as a little bit of stopper, I think. I think we can do. We can knock him down in there, can't we? Try. Have a time, there we go. So we could sleep in the fire. That's very nice. Um what can we do here? Summon the decapitator. Sure, you can hit. We'll get him there, see if we can hit. Yeah. Oh, poor Resk. You're not going to live much longer. I don't think you can get a turn. No, you didn't. <laughs> Great. Alright, what have we got in here? Oh, look at all this we got to pick up. Alright, gold cup. Painting of a woman. Painted on a man. No oh dear. We don't really need an awful lot of money. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to loot all this. No, I'm not. Well, we've no reason to go. If you want to go down into. Uh, Gutilda's cellar, you click that and that opens up a hatch for you to go down. But since we went down there right at the beginning of Hunter's Edge, we've no reason to. Is there anything else, else, uh, uh, anything else in here? Uh, I don't want any of that. I'm going to be a bit more selective of what I actually pick up. Oh, pick that up. He says, picking up junk. <laughs> Let's get the painting of a man. Painting of a woman. They're leaving paintings behind, really. Right, well, if we need money, we can always come back and pick all this up. Let's head upstairs. And hopefully finish Medora's story in Hunter's Edge. There he is. Poor little toys. Why I didn't come up here... At the beginning, I have no idea. I normally do. Let's check all these. Murdered in their beds. At least they didn't suffer. The villagers left to the Orc Queen suffered far worse fates. It's very true. I'm just fine, Sir Man. And you? Sit, sit, sit. No. Sit, sit, sit. One, two, wee. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Yeah, new toys, new toys. <laughs> but where's Mum? What's, what's she want me to do with you? 
I don't think you got anything to sell, have you? No, nah, toy. No. Something's wrong. This is the monster who killed all those villages? This... This... child? Uh, perhaps you should talk to Norok. You want me to. But this can't be right. The orc, I remember, he was... He was evil. A sadistic monster. This is... Oh, my head is spinning faster than a broken bumblebee. Let me... Let me get a good look at him. Hello. I remember you. We used to be friends, didn't we? Yeah, we were great friends. We played all the live long night, and I made pretty red ribbons up and down, and down and up your face. Where'd your ribbons go? Do you want I should give you small? This isn't right. I'm gonna be sick. It's all right, Medora. We're here together. No harm will come to you. Sorry, pretty toy. Oh, please, please don't shout. Oh, Mum will be awfully cross if I make a ruckus. Uh, what do you mean by Mum? Mum. Oh, the best mum in the whole wide world. Usually, orcs like me, well, scramble-headed, me brothers call me, are, are killed right away. But Mum says she took one look at me and knew I'd be the best warrior in the world. She brings me lots of toys and friends, and she showed me all the best games to play. At first, I, I didn't like how the toys would holler and cry when I'd make ribbons on them or play eyeball pop. But Mum <laughs> taught me that that's how they show they're happy. First, they scream for joy, and then they take a long, long nap. Grutilda. Yeah, that's my mum's name. <gasps> Did you meet her? Did, did she want us to play together? Comrades, my mind's racing and my heart's going like a snare drum. To be here, face to face with my greatest enemy and to find that he's... He's not at all like the villain I'd worked up in my mind. It's... it's unimaginable. I've hated him with every drop of blood in these veins. Hated him till my entire being screamed for revenge. But now I find he's as simple as a child. Maybe he even thought all the cruelty, the death he inflicted was... a game. And all around us, more victims, and years stretching behind us, and years stretching ahead of us, more dead bodies tortured and wrung by his hands. But you, comrade, time and again you show me the valor inherent of forgiveness. You face the impossibly cruel or weak, and you offer them a second chance. Still, I... I cannot forgive this monster. He may well be confused, and he may have been mistaught, but that won't stop him from killing again. Ho, oh, comrade, in the name of the Order of the Sauce Hunters, I ask you to lay down forgiveness and to join me now. To arms! Uh, uh, are you mad at me? Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, I I'm not doing it again. Oh, I promise. Oh, oh, what a shame. It's a shame we have to kill you. But we must. Uh, let's get Nick on the go. Medora is correct. He has been misled, he has been mistaught. But he will kill again. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> And it could kill us if we're not careful. Right. Who's this, Medora? Get in there. Ready. 
resurrect Revenant! Anything else we can do? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, I can increase Medora's attack power. Uh, do I hit or taunt? Well, it's hit. What do you think, Source Hunter? Shall I start shredding from the top or the bottom? Disease failed. Okay. Ooh, that can't be good. Let's have some of that. Bathed in rivers of renewal. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't hit her. Uh, flurry. Targeted power. Very nice. There's a curse going on here. There we go. Cast anything, but we'll try and mute just in case. Silence failed. Let's do decaying touch then. <laughs> okay. Okay, Nick doesn't make much damage on him. Flash fire. No. <laughs> Come on, Medora. Updated. Revenge of the Source Hunter. We killed Norok. He may not have been aware of his crimes, but he was dangerous nonetheless. Medora told us her story. She was responsible for the village of Hunter's Edge, but unknowingly stole an orcish bloodstone. The orcs invaded and slaughtered the village inhabitants. She managed to escape and now seeks revenge. So that is now done. So, I think we're finished with Hunter's Edge. She'll take the wooden figurine. Take that painting. Or maybe not. No, oh, okay. Take that landscape one though. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. <laughs> there we go. I don't think there's anything of any interest in any of these. No. None that couldn't serve them whiskey anyway. Oh. There we go, a little bit of something there. But we're not going to me mess about with all this other rubbish. Right, okay. Well, that will probably bring us to the end of this episode. It's only got a quick one. I just wanted to make sure that we had finished Hunter's Edge. Uh, so before we go into the Phantom Forest proper, through the Poison Log, uh, I want to switch out the team now and dump Medora. Get Johan in, and possibly, I don't know if we can or not, I might change Scarlet to a one hand and shield tank type. I don't know. Not made with mine up yet. We'll have to wait and see on that because uh, Johan joins the team and he's got Hydrophysist and Electric Magic. And Scarlet has that as well. 
Yes, she has that, but she also has fire. So we could do the same with Jahan, just add the fire over to him and make her our tank. But there's also another question with that as well. It is, I would have to make a deal with a demon in the end of time to reset all her specs. Would that mean that Jahan would leave us? I will answer all these questions off camera. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Alright, thanks for watching folks. This is All Grey signing off.